people by definition living their own lives always don't have a basis for comparison and I now have that gift and I'm going to cherish that forever that's rap <laughs> that was the biggest load of bullshit I have ever laid in my entire life so if you're just learning to work together and to improve each other's uh, you know to learn to improve each other <laughs> I feel bad I hate you for doing this to me. I know. <laughs> Amanda, she's kind of slutty at times. You know, it's. <laughs> uh, Amanda's really nice. But I don't want to know, so I'll put it in. Or else I'll fight you. What looks like to do? Oh shit. You know what? Oh and maybe shit. don't use. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh <laughs> shit. I can't use crap. I can't use shit. So I tried to think quick. <laughs> Welcome to Switch, where you get switched around till you squish like the fish that are swimming around. Drumming my pain with his fingers, singing my life with his words, killing me softly with his song, killing me softly with his song. Push the wall back, and there you are, and there I am, and we're looking at one another. Right now, if you need a bounce card, I'm your guy. Use my back. You can white balance as much as you want. Drumming my pain with his fingers. A little nipply out here. Singing my life with his words. Yeah, I'm supposed to have it on backwards. That's classic. The knick knack patty whack, give a dog a bone. Don't laugh at me, laugh with me. <laughs> These are my parents, Jim and Nikki. Can you believe they met at a Grateful Dead concert? Hi, I'm Shantali, and this is Monte Carlo, my teacup chihuahua. This in particular alligator is called Godzilla, and uh, his name matches his attitude. <laughs> Do you smell what I smell? Mm -hmm. Can you tell that my mom likes watermelons? Hello. Okay, so are you getting ready for the party tonight? Yeah, me too. So what do you think you're going to wear? Oh, really? Well, I think I'm going to wear my pink halter top. <laughs> Holy shit. Why are you doing that? Stop. No, come on, seriously. Pick me. For all of you Styx fans, this is your arrangement for Come Sail Away With Me. own songs on a CD player, and this is a song I recorded in Paris. Isn't it amazing? No one ever thought we'd come this far. Take me home! <laughs> go back! I'm trying to figure out this life. Won't you take me by the hand? Take me so Look, Emily. I will now perform a piece from Satiric Dances. Paris, Kauai, and Beverly Hills. But I love it when I can just relax and lay by the pool. Now exercise is very important to me. 
So every day after my hour and a half workout, I come home and go swimming. That's determination. I'm telling you, it's determination. I look forward to hearing from you. Hopefully with a positive response. Between you and me, I, I think you should pick me. Please, with me. Anything. And those five bucks in the envelope that was sent with this video, I didn't put that in there. Are you kidding? I'm begging you. Next on Switch. I don't know what I've gotten myself into. Are you wrong, Mom, I don't really know what I do every day. I think it's somewhat hot. Alright, well, uh. Chris, 26 years old, and I'm the office coordinator. My job as office coordinator is to coordinate the crews, get their stuff to the airport. When the toner gets low, somebody has to take it out and shake it. I do the shaking. And the paper, the paper doesn't stock itself. My job is basically, without tooting my own horn, um, is the most important one here. This here is the executive. Fine piece of machinery. I also call it the chariot. It's what's known around evolution of foam and tape. My name is Zach, I'm 26 years old, and I'm a clearance supervisor. The job of a clearance supervisor is probably one of the hardest jobs there is on Switch. Zach Grossen here. Yes, I need a clearance immediately. I don't really know what I do every day. I've been thinking about getting blonde highlights. You know, I'm not going to lie, I probably think that I'm the cutest person in the office. So, where do you think you're gonna go? I'm not sure, but I'm hoping it's somewhere hot. Yeah, definitely, definitely somewhere hot. I mean, just hot. Yeah, or, or cold. Maybe somewhere wet. Yeah. Wet. It's you in a wet oh my God. Hi, Zach. My name is Chris. I live in Extension <gasps> 125. Oh Let's switch live. Oh my God! <laughs> That's fucking heavy, dude. 118. That's that's big time right there. That's just like whole new world, man. Just hold it down and keep the pimp hand strong for us, alright? I don't really know what's gonna happen in 118, but I'm sure it's gonna be pretty scary. I don't know what I've gotten myself into. Alright, well, uh, guess I better get packed. Um, we gotta pack all the binders. Shannon and I have a really close relationship. Really close. Seriously, could you hurry up? You got in here, rocks? Says goodbye. Bye. Oh, hey, are you Chris? I am. Hi, I'm Shannon. I will be your desk mate. My first impression of Shannon was hot. I'm from 121. Wow, hey, what's up, man? Hey. You're not from around these parts, are you? Quite honestly, Chris Carter makes me a little nervous. Are you not following me, boy? What is he saying? You look a little skittish, man. You all right? I'm nervous. Are you sure? I'm just a little nervous. You're a little nervous? I'm not It'll be all right, man. I'll help you through it. Just, just calm down. You look no, like you're no. about to jump out the skin.
I don't know what I've gotten myself into. I challenge you to pick up three crews from Long Beach, LAX, and Burbank in 10 minutes. When I got the challenge, I was pretty sure I was going to be able to be successful. Finally, I'm bringing back the unkempt goatee. Hi, Chris. It's Zach. I challenge you to do a clearance meeting. That's going to be tough. <clears throat> My challenge to Zach is to pick up three crews, uh, three different airports. There's no way he's going to make it. I can do things that most men can't. It is really is going to be a tough channel for Jack. Zach. Zach. OK, so we've got the big meeting in there before the directors all go out. And what he usually does is say every specific little thing that we're not allowed to have. Can, just, I, just, can I just wing it? Like, yeah, just... try. From now on, we're going to blur all the cars, all the puppies, all the children's faces. Don't even worry about them, because I don't really care. I'm only here for like three days. I'm going to lunch, so do whatever. Well, I, uh, I, I failed the challenge. You know what, I don't really have a greater appreciation of what Chris does on a daily basis, because I'm not really sure that this is what he does on a daily basis. Guess who? This experience was good. Uh, it taught me that uh, you should judge a book by its cover, if it's a really ugly book or a really clean book or uh, a really new book. I feel like we know each other already, and it's like we just met. It's crazy. Yeah, I feel like I know myself so, so much better now. Well, so tell me how great it was to live my life. Yeah, it was, uh, it was cool. <laughs> <It's> an... <laughs> I can't believe we're finally meeting. Yeah. And to have this kind of connection with someone is just something that I'm going to treasure with me forever. <laughs> I really feel like Chris and I have been switched to birth, and I think that we're going to be best friends forever.